Okay, yesterday what did we learn? Who can tell me? With your silence, hands up. Yesterday I told you a new type of fraction. What is that fraction name? Who can tell me? Sujit. Very good. What is it? Can everyone repeat together? Thank you. So what is improper fraction? Who can tell me? Ritesh. Very good. So in a normal fraction, the numerator will be small and the denominator is big. But in an improper fraction, which will be bigger? And denominator will be? So I told you an example to easily remember this. Dharani? Can you tell loudly? This is God made, this is head. One more body. Yes. So as he said in numerator, think numerator as your think of the numerator as your if the head is so big, can your body hold? So what we want? One more body. Same way in fractions, the numerator is very big. We want one more piece to hold the Numerator. Who can give me one example for improper fraction? Mithun? 25 divided by 10. Everybody agrees this is an improper fraction? If you agree, can you show me a thumbs up? Anybody not agreeing? Means show me thumbs down. Everybody agrees this is an improper fraction? Lokesh, quickly can you tell me why? How we are going to show this as mixed fraction? How we are going to show this as? Okay. If the denominator is 10, my each piece will have how many pieces? How many pieces? Can we draw one piece with 10? Does it have 10 pieces? If I shade fully also, will I get the number 25? Will I get the number 25? No. So what I can do? Who can tell me what I can do? Sujit? Draw one more box. Draw one more box. This one more box, who will tell me how many pieces will be there in that one more box? Kiti? In the one more box also, how many pieces? Ten pieces. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Both boxes have 10 pieces. How many is my share? Can everyone tell me? 25. How much is my share? 25. So how many will I share? 25. So if I share this fully, how much over? If I share this fully, how much over? 20. Still 25 did I share? No. Now raise your silent hand and tell me what will I do next. 22 things I did, still 25 I didn't get. Rohit. Again draw. Very good. Again draw one more box. Yeah, there also 10. In this how many will I shade? Who can tell me? Don't shout, don't shout. Arun Daniel. Okay, sorry, one more. So in this, how many will I share? Five. Why five? Means there is 25 only they ask. Root of is 10. One more five we share means 25. In this, how many over? 10. Here? 20. So how many more we need? Five. five. So let's take, I didn't write this number. I didn't write this number. I'm going to ask you two questions to do today. One is, whatever shaded boxes I give, I am going to ask you to write it in improper, write it as an improper fraction and also as a mixed fraction. This is the two work you have to do for today. So first start counting how many is shaded. Start counting how many is shaded. So one, two, 
23, 24, 25. Stop. Totally how many is shaded? Whatever is shaded, where will I write? Numerator. Where will I write? Numerator. So I am writing in the numerator. That is, numerator tells me my share. Let's take any piece. Any piece you can go. Not necessary, only this piece I should go or this piece you should go. You can go to any piece. Let me, for example, take this piece. This piece I am going to count totally how many parts it is divided into. This piece I am going to check totally how many parts it is divided into. Shall we count together? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Totally how many pieces? Here also? Here also? Let's take this is two chocolates. One chocolate I ate fully. In second chocolate I ate only half. How much chocolate did I eat? How will you tell me generally when your mother will ask, how will you tell this? Nitin? Don't forget about improper fractions. This is one chocolate I ate fully. Second chocolate I ate only little, half. If your mother asks how much chocolate did you eat, what will you tell? better answer you are forgetting daily use in the house very good will you not say one and a half chocolate I ate but will anybody tell I ate three by two chocolate now come to the first piece is my first piece full how many full pieces there can I write one write one now go to the second piece second piece is also full can I write one right one now come to the third piece is the third piece full no. so can I write it as one no. so how I will write my share by total number of pieces what is my share and what is the total number of pieces who can tell me Rahul what is my share how did you find out in 10, 5 only shaded. I count and see in 10. In, in 10, how much is shaded? I count 5. So 5 is shaded. That is my numerator. Totally how many pieces there? Who can tell me? Anukumari? 10. Totally how many pieces? So I will write it in the denominator. Now still my sum is not over. I am going to count totally how many full pieces there and write together. Is this one full piece? See, always remember only full piece and full piece you can add. Full piece and half piece you can add? No. no. Full piece and full piece only you can add. This is one full piece? Yeah. This is also one full piece? Yeah. Can I join together? Yeah. How many full piece? Two. Can I write two here? Yeah. Is my third piece full? No. So can I write it as one more full piece? No. So what is my fraction for the third piece? Five. Write the full piece separately and write five by ten. Okay? Can anybody else come and tell me how to write mixed fraction for the same question? Satish? Yes. One is fully shaded. So we want to write one first. Okay. Next in the second box, there is two only shaded. So uh, uh, first write uh, two. Next total pieces six. We write six. That's all. Any doubts in this? Now if you have any doubts, please raise your hand. Now quickly let's do this worksheet. I have given you the marker and also your uh, chart paper 